Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got one of the blaster boxes of 2122 NBA Chronicles. Uh, this is one of those products I always like opening. Um, I find I find Chronicles to be a really fun rip. Uh, in my opinion, I know a lot of people don't like it because it doesn't have a huge amount of value attached to it, usually. Um, but I, I have fun opening up Chronicles. Um, they do a mix of all different sets uh, that's made by Panini. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I like it. It's a, it's a huge set, though. 425 cards. Um, but then, you know, there is the parallels. Blaster exclusive pink parallels. We should find six of those. Um, seven cards per pack, six packs per box, and maybe we get lucky with an auto, but, um, we'll see. Uh, my channel mostly is baseball, uh, decent amount of football, and then I do open up a very little bit of basketball. I am a extremely casual basketball fan, so, uh, there mo might most likely be a name that I may mispronounce, or maybe even just look over because um, I don't know much about that particular player. So I do like to, you know, kind of say that usually with any of my basketball uh, videos. But I do like to open up a little bit of them, a uh, little bit of basketball from time to time. And Chronicles is, like I said, one of those products that it, I, I have fun opening it. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but I, I enjoy it. So we got Chris Duarte. Start us off, Kyrie Irving's Chronicles, Luminance, uh, Corey uh, Kispert, I couldn't quite read the name with the uh, the way the text is on the front, Paul George, we got Brandon Boston Jr., Rookies and Stars, Marquis, John Morant, and Kamunga, Crusade, Rookies and Stars, so... It's a sharp looking card, Prism, uh, as well, so not too bad. I'll take it. But like I said, I like the I like some of the I like the different sets that they do in Panini, uh, Chronicles, um, Crusade. Uh, these are usually sharp cards, in, in my opinion. I know it's not everybody's, but that should be our first pink parallel. I'm not too sure if the last card is the pink or not. Uh, this is my first uh, time opening up any of the blaster boxes. Uh, 2788, I think I was at Walmart as well. I'm sure you can probably get them for 25 at Target. Um, I know BJ's had them last year for, I think, a dollar or less. But uh, here we go, Cade Cunningham. There we go, Stephon Curry. Jalen Green. There we got. Um, Aldama, Absolute, Keon Johnson, Playbook, which uh, barely you can tell that's the pink parallel, actually. XR, Stephen Curry, and Quentin Grimes, Crusade. Uh, this one uh, actually it is a prism, actually, but um, right, I'll take it. A lot of the, pretty much any of the prisms I'll sleeve now. All the other rookie cards, I'll just sleeve them off camera. Just, I, I don't... I'm not looking to make the video longer than it needs to be. Um, but uh, we got Mitchell, Prestige, Scotty Barnes, Chronicles, uh, Luminance, uh, Cameron Thomas. Yep, Cameron Thomas. And then we got Trey Murphy, third. Moses Moody, Moody excuse me, is our pink this time around. Another marquee, Davon Mitchell. And Franz Wagner is our pink parallel this time. So I mean, already halfway through the pack. I don't know why, but that one feels a little thicker. So we'll just save it for the end. Um, but yeah, like I said, Chronicles. I, I just I find it to be fun. I I like opening up a little bit of it. If it's baseball, if it's football, if it's basketball. But we got Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Prestige. Then we got the Sun Moon, Chronicles, Durant, Absolute, Trey Man, Luminance, uh, Bones Highland is our pink parallel that time. Another one of the Marquis, Kispert, and Aaron Wiggins. 
XR. So we got next pack. We got Juan Toscano Anderson, Penny Threads, Quentin Grimes, Chronicles, Joel Embiid, Playbook, Steph Curry, Absolute, Luca, Rookies and Stars. We got Stephon Curry there. Uh, Essentials. And our pink this time around, LaMelo Ball, second year card. Would have been cool if this was a pink parallel from last year, but um, actually just from this year, so second year card. And that will bring us to our last pack. Isaiah Todd, Penny Threads, Davon Mitchell, I think that's probably the third one of his cards we've pulled. Uh, Makula Shabil, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, not too sure if I pronounced that one right. I'll be the first to uh, admit. Uh, Herbert Jones, Pink is our pink that time around. Jalen Johnson, Trey Mann, Essentials, and to finish it off, Jalen Suggs, Honors, Penny Honors, which, you know, these are, these are sharp looking cards too, in my opinion. Um, you know, one of the subsets within the set, but um, overall, not too bad. Uh, pretty much got what I expected out of uh, Panini Chronicles. Um, like I said, there's usually not a huge amount of money uh, behind the uh, the pack openings, um, unless you get number get lucky with some numbered cards, which I'll be honest with you, I didn't really look for. I'll flip through them later on, but I feel like uh, they would have stood out, or I would have noticed uh, something a little different with them if there was a numbered card. Um, but like I said, the one thing with the Chronicles is nice. You do get a lot of rookie cards, um, just to kind of flip through real quick. Um, yeah, most of our pinks were rookie cards. I think one was not. Um, but like here, the small little stack of non-rookies. Um, you know, 11 base. Uh, I think with the Lamello, that makes 12. So 30 of the 42 cards were rookies, which is nice. Um, but anyway... With that, if you liked the video, greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on the video. Leave any comments on uh, Panini Chronicles. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys what you guys think about the product. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it one of those boxes that or packs that you like to open up? You know, like one box, uh, a blaster box of maybe a couple of value packs or um, uh, the regular hanger packs just to, just to check it out. And uh, But... Like always, like I said, I always like to know what uh, you guys think about it. And also, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.